Tokyo Electric Power Company has allowed the media access to the Fukushima Daiichi plant. Reporters were allowed in for the first time since the government declared in December that the reactors were in cold shutdown. The utility gave reporters a bus tour of the facility. The visit coincides with inspections by the Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency. Reporters were allowed to get off the bus on a hill near the number four reactor. They saw the damage from a hydrogen explosion last March. Journalists had to stay inside their bus during a previous media tour. Radioactivity levels on the hill are now 50 microsieverts per hour. Anyone spending the day there would be exposed to more than one millisievert of radiation, the annual limit for the general public. We know that our videos are unfit to be seen and that our words are unfit to be heard. Reporters saw workers preparing to build a facility to store spent fuel rods. The bus passed by cooling systems that have seen dozens of water leaks since January. Workers have wrapped pumps with sheeting and pipes with insulation materials to prevent leaks. And we sit there watching our computer screens as countless videos come up telling us that today there were 15 DMCAs and 63 false flagging incidents, as if that's the way it's supposed to be. We will work to make the plant stable and safe, so we can assure people that the plant will not release any more radioactive substances. Fucktards are running wild on the tweets, and there's nobody anywhere who seems to know what to do about it, and there's no end in sight. It's expected to take about 40 years to completely decommission the reactors. A U.S. research institute says some of the debris created by a massive tsunami that hit Japan last March will likely wash ashore on Hawaii after drifting close to the U.S. west coast. About three million tons of debris, including wrecked buildings and fishing boats, are confirmed to be floating in the Pacific. Research is underway by a Kyoto University-led group of scientists and a U.S. research institute to foresee where and when the debris will drift ashore. Japan will send a team of scientists and environment ministry officials to Hawaii later this month. The U.S. study shows that the tsunami debris will pass through waters north of Hawaii this year and approach the U.S. west coast next year. The direction of drift of most of the debris will then shift toward Hawaii in 2014, where some will likely wash ashore. The Japanese government plans to draw up a map of the drifting debris and the timing of its arrival by the end of March, incorporating the U.S. study result. I don't have to tell you things are bad. Everybody knows that they're bad. Well, two Japanese-made robots are to be deployed at the damaged Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant to ensure the safety of workers who will eventually have to shut down the reactors there. It's depressing. Everybody's out of ideas. A group of researchers at the Chiba Institute of Technology developed the remote control robots called Prince Number 2 and 3. The first model was the only Japanese-made robot used at the Fukushima plant in the aftermath of the March disaster. It took video footage inside the reactor buildings and gauged radiation levels. But it got stuck in October after becoming tangled in communication cables. Here we go. Fukushima. The two new robots have been designed to avoid a similar fate. They're equipped with blades to cut any cables that might prevent them from moving smoothly. One of the new robots is fitted with a camera that will allow it to take shots of the interior of the storage pool for spent fuel rods. To kill your children. The eventual shutdown of the reactors will have to be done by people. The robots will check radiation inside the plant to ensure that workers will be exposed to as little radiation as possible. We know things are bad. They're worse than bad. They're crazy. Everybody, everywhere is going crazy. So a truck carrying the robots left for Fukushima on Monday. The devices are scheduled to begin their work later this month. 
but we don't upload anymore. We just sit there on our channels, and as more suspensions go on and on and on, and the little world we're in gets smaller and smaller, and all we say is, please, please, just leave me here in our blog TV chat rooms, and leave us here with our Twitter and our Facebook and, and our Ustream, and we won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. Japan's Nuclear Safety Commission will review the results of stress tests on two reactors at the nearby Oi plant during the day. The commission chairman says the results will not be enough to declare the reactors safe. I think second stage tests with more detailed criteria are needed to accurately assess the risk of reactors. Madarame said the initial tests only check equipment for maintaining safety at times of natural disasters. And he's not doing anything about it that every Christian that knows anything about nuclear radiation gives their information to the world and becomes forthright and honest about Fukushima. But the Nuclear Industrial and Safety Agency endorsed the first stage findings at the OE plant early last week. The government introduced the tests to ease public concern before restarting the reactors. The commission's opinion is expected to prove a setback for plant operators. And if Satan thrives on pain and suffering, then the pedoph I mean the Pope, who is now a minion of Satan, is getting his just due because of the pain and suffering of the people on this world that are dying from Fukushima. Japan's nuclear regulator has or was criticized by its own panel of members or experts. Members blame the regulator for rushing to approve stress tests on halted reactors at the nearby Oi plant. All the while knowing that a hundred tons of nuclear pellets were dispersed over five square miles and when nuclear reactor number three, the MOX reactor, blew up. The Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency gave its first nod of approval last week for the test results on two reactors. The agency reached the conclusion after cutting off debate by the panel days uh, earlier. The experts uh, strongly criticized the agency when the panel met on Monday. Discussions haven't been exhausted. I feel deceived. The panel started to fully review plant safety to prevent another Fukushima. Why are you rushing for a conclusion? A nuclear safety official responded that the experts had met eight times since November. He said the agency had met conditions to endorse the results. Approval for the stress test is a key step for restarting the reactors. Most of them were halted for regular inspections after the March 11th disaster. I don't want you to protest, I don't want you to riot, I don't want you to write to YouTube or Google because I wouldn't know what to tell you to say anyway. I don't know what to do about the DMCAs and the fundies and the fucktiles and the false flagging and the slime that's on this site. All I know is this. You've got to get mad. You've got to get mad. You've got to stand up and say, I'm a human being, damn it. My vlogs have value. The last nuclear reactor in western Japan has gone offline. The plant's operator shut it down for regular inspection. Residents are worrying about a power crunch. Fuel imports into Japan are soaring. Only two of the country's 54 nuclear reactors are still running. Kansai Electric Power Company said it completed the shutdown early Tuesday for the number three reactor at the Takahama nuclear plant in Fukui Prefecture. The last two operational reactors will be shut down by late April. Fukushima proper, that one was, where a hundred tons of radioactive nuclear waste was dispersed on the ground, and then they came in with truckloads and buried the nuclear waste, but they didn't take it away. No. They put it under 10 feet of dirt, so now it rains on 2, 3, or 10 feet of dirt, and that all that radiation is going straight into the groundwater. Come on to the coast, we'll get together, have a few laughs. But then how do you really know for certain that your loved ones are safe with a stranger? I mean, can you ever really trust another human being, Greg? Sure, I think so. No, the answer is you cannot. Let me show you something. 
Dressed up for the wedding. Beautiful. Oh, now, Craig, you have a very unique last name. Uh, and we were curious, uh, how do you pronounce it? Oh, just like it's spelled. F-O-C-K-E-R. Fokker. Hmm. Fokker. Uh -huh. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Move to the coast, we'll get together, have a few laughs. They have a smile here. They smile at lunchtime. Lower your voice, Arthur, and sit up. Stop being so nervous. Later on, we'll get ice cream. See here. 